Hello creatives. This is a couple of stacks of some of my art journals. And I had promised another flip through. I'm obviously not going to make flip through videos of all of these, but I thought I would show you what some of my collection is like. This is my actually my oldest. This goes back to 2000, I think. Some of them are little homemade journals. As a matter of fact, I think the next one that I'm going to do a flip through of is going to be one of my homemade journals. This is the one I already did a flip through video of and it's on my Facebook page and YouTube. And I think it's on IG stories to Instagram. This is a homemade one. And this is probably going to be the one I'm going to do the next flip through on. Which I might even do today. Might even do right now. So I decided I will do a flip through on this one right now. This is one that I made in a uh, Misty Mon workshop. I highly recommend Misty's workshops. They're awesome and she always gets us to create our best art. She's a really great teacher. So these pages are pages that we did a background on them first and then put the journals together and then it was up to us to go back and create our own imagery in them. Blackbird is one of my favorite songs. There's so many versions out there and I I love many of them, but a lot of you will know it is a Beatles song. And this was my interpretation of it. Mixed media page with collage and painting. This was a self-portrait for some workshop I was in. I don't remember. No, more mixed media pages with collage and ink, stabilo, gesso. This was, um, I think a lot of these in this journal, I'm not sure if it's this journal, but this one was from Misty Mon's Immigrant Portraits Workshop. really enjoyed working in this journal. I like the size a lot. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure what the size is. I can tell you. It's 19 and a half that way and about 12 that way. is a flip out. We made the little hinges out of um, paper. Have to move it over to show. These were done with a uh, potato stamp that I carved. This was a vintage photo that I did my version of. This page actually has some stitching on it that I did on my sewing machine. This was um, I, Guru Muk, I believe, language. It was part of the Japji, uh, the Mool Mantra, maybe. I, I forget, it was a while ago that I did it, but I was fascinated by how beautiful the lettering was. This is a 
three page flip out. A lot of paintings in this journal from the Misty Mon workshop. This was one of her exercises where you were supposed to do a portrait in all red and I, I chose Frida and there's a Frida quote. I used to think I was the strangest person in the world but then I thought there are so many people in the world there must be someone just like me who feels bizarre and flawed in the same ways I do. I would imagine her and imagine that she must be out there thinking of me too. Well, I hope that if you are out there and read this and know that, yes, it's true, I'm here and I'm just as strange as you. Frida Kahlo. This was one of the backgrounds that I did. And I did some stitching and some stenciling on it and I actually liked it so much that I never ended up painting a journal page over it. Kind of an abstract, surreal, almost still life on this side, figurative on this side. This is another mixed media piece. And this is another mixed media. You can hear the layers on the page. And that's that. That's a smaller journal, so that was an easy one to do a flip through on. But um, I may actually do a video, depending on how long this all goes on, I may do a video on making a small journal because it's so easy and it's so rewarding to make them. But until then, stay home, stay safe, enjoy.